What's up, everybody? This is Kenny Cummings here of Chilling with Kenny C. And joining me at this time is a wrestler from Tennessee. She's definitely made a name for herself in the past year, in 2021. And she's looking to make a bigger statement in 2022. Uh, and to talk about her journey and so much more, I am joined with the international Swiss sensation, Michelle Green. Thank you, Michelle, for being on the show. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, I'm actually training in Tennessee, but I do live in Switzerland, in uh, Zurich. So uh, I'm collecting a lot of miles, <laughs> but um, since America is like the kind of birthplace or certainly the capital of world wrestling, I would say, um, this is where I train and I come to get more experience wrestling, yes. So as I point out in the introduction, you definitely have made a name for yourself in 2021. Um, how did your journey begin as a professional wrestler? Well, 2021 was actually my first full year um, dedicating myself to wrestling. So um, I have been building up my decision to um, fully commit um, all my time into wrestling and obviously also saving up money. And um, so 2021 was the first year where I was, uh, well, a professional wrestler in that sense. Um, and I trained three months in Mexico because at the time from Europe, it wasn't accessible to come to the U.S. So because Mexico, of course, is also a huge wrestling country and I speak Spanish um, amongst four other languages, I uh, decided to go to Mexico. I knew some people there, a close friend of mine took me in and I was learning Lucha Libre there, which is actually um, like the sides are swapped. So I had to learn some new habits, um, like all the moves, for example, here would be to the left side and then there would be to the right side, for example. And um, then I ended up going to Texas actually. And I trained with Sandra Rosa, who maybe some people I would hope have seen on AEW. She's killing it over there. Um, she's a star and she was uh, together with Jazz and Rodney Mack. She was leading the Dog Pound Dojo at the time. There was a lot of women training together. And in wrestling, well, there's not that many women that do it. And so it was great to have a place where a lot of women were training together um, with Jazz who's a WWE legend, Rodney who's also been in WWE. And um, I was learning over there. And then now I made my way over here to Tennessee to train with Dr. Tom, who was in charge of developmental for WWE for a long, long, long time. And then finally in December is when I had my first match, a singles match. And um, now I'm on number eight this Saturday. Yes, eight will be this Saturday for Tennessee Championship Wrestling in Selmer, Tennessee. And then number nine will be at Imperial Pro in um, Bristol, Tennessee, actually. Yes. So going through everything from the traveling to the training and being getting this input and this advice from so many good minds in professional wrestling, how would you feel about your first full year? Um, as far as what you've been able to do, obviously we're still dealing with this pandemic, obviously, but how do you feel, how would you describe your first full year as a professional wrestler? Did this, all this, is there any memories or moments that stood out to you? How would you describe your first full year? I think it was a bit of a roller coaster, very adventurous, um, always learning new things. I mean, before I was working as a marketing manager in Switzerland, so I was all day at the desk and additionally, obviously training and hitting the gym. Um, but this year I allowed myself to just train every day in the gym and resting. And um, so at first, obviously, that took my body some getting used to. Um, also, of course, just being away for um, a long time from home and missing my loved ones is also part of the journey. 
but um, so I felt like I was a bit like of an experience or like knowledge collector. So I learned a bit in Mexico, I learned a bit in Texas. Of course, I had trained in Switzerland and Germany. And then really when I came to Tennessee here um, at JPWA at the wrestling school, I went to a beginner's course. Um, so most of the people in my class hadn't trained before. But for me, I had just so many like different impressions and I was just struggling to put them all together, you know, like kind of gluing them and like putting the puzzle together. And that's what really um, now, I was always like waiting for the moment to click because I feel it's like uh, if you're gaming or something, um, you just need to get experience points and then one point you suddenly level up. And so that's finally happened for me in Tennessee and um, it's been wonderful. Um, to get to do this also seeing how in Europe um, like it's been a struggle to train um, when I'm there like I can train maybe once a week where here I'm training five days a week um, so uh, yeah I'm very fortunate and how I was raised and that I have the opportunity and the savings that I made um, to be here and experience American wrestling and you speak multiple languages um that's impressive obviously in wrestling communication is everything and to for any promotion to have someone like yourself that speak multiple languages you know going on the world international that definitely helps uh so just I, the languages is is incredible obviously um, just talk about just communicating with um, promotion, promoters, wrestlers, and different languages. Yes, of course. So um, I speak Swiss, German, German, English, Spanish, French, and I'm learning Italian. And um, so I was born in Switzerland and my parents are Swiss. And um, because of the job of my dad, we actually moved around a lot um, growing up. So one of the places we lived in was Spain and um, we went to a Swiss school, but in reality, uh, was, there was like out of 25 people, maybe two more people that spoke Swiss German and the rest just spoke Spanish. And then you just a break and you're like, oh my God, what are they saying? I want to know, I want to join. <laughs> and um, so that really incentivizes you to learn Spanish really quick. And then French and English I learned at school. And Italian, I've just been learning the last year because my partner is Italian. And of course, I want to also say nice things in Italian and communicate myself with his family. Um, so those are the languages I've been learning. And um, even before when I was studying economics or working in marketing, um, I always just enjoyed I'm a very social person I'm very outgoing um, meeting new people and languages helps with that of course um, I feel like you can always connect better when you speak the same language and um, yeah so I've always enjoyed that I um, like in high school I used to sing and write my own lyrics so I'm also like just very passionate about um, I guess speaking and words and communication I would say and uh, of course, I see it as an asset also in professional wrestling for me to be able to connect with so many people from different walks of life um, in whichever language they choose to speak to me. <laughs> you made me want to, you know, step my language game up. Okay. Maybe there's a time that I want to interview somebody in a different language. Mm -hmm. um, I will have so much work to do in that regard so you know what language are you looking at i do have um a new partnership with a german language school so you can definitely check that out on uh, my web page if you're interested in that they're offering courses um but yeah i don't know what language you're looking to learn have you made up your mind on that kenny um i say maybe you know maybe a little bit of spanish uh, mm -hmm. You know, some simple stuff, you know, not necessarily too advanced per se. I mean, I have some co-workers that speak language and mm -hmm. I know I try to act like I know some Spanish, but mm -hmm. then I just know simple stuff like unos, dos, tres, cuatro, 
you know. Oh, you know, I love that about Texas too. Like just the big Spanish speak speaking community. Yeah. Um, that was really lovely too. And in Mexico, of course, everybody was super sweet, but um, the food is also really good. Like really, really good. Um, <laughs> of course, I was like on a meal plan, but every now and then I did have the chance to have a sneak in some tacos. <laughs> and um, yes. I do definitely miss that. Like their fruit is super juicy and sweet too. And I go back to cold Switzerland and everything's like sour and bitter. I'm like, Ugh. no wonder I never ate like fruits as a kid, you know? It tastes like this and it could taste like that. Come on. <laughs> interesting. Very, very interesting. So here we are, 2022. You mentioned you got some shows coming up, obviously. Um what are what are your goals for 2022 as far as more traveling, expanding yourself, obviously? What what's next on the horizon for the international sports sensation for 2022? Um, well, for myself, Michelle Green, the goal this year obviously is just to get a lot of experience in ring wrestling. Um I'm always ready to travel. And um, my personal goal for this year is to be on national US TV. So we still have mm, about 11 months for me to achieve that. And I'm gonna grind and uh, make that happen. That's my goal for this year. You know, I can see Michelle Green on, a, on my TV screen at some point in 2022 i can sense it um, oh thank you that's very sweet of you to say so i i could definitely see it you know woman wrestling definitely is evolving and still is and it's getting better you know you see more opportunities here and there obviously women wrestlers still face challenges as well that comes with the territory obviously but seeing someone like yourself just striving and you definitely willing to learn more and get yourself out there more. That tells me that you, you, you in it for the right reasons and you definitely have a bright future. So I definitely look forward to seeing more Michelle Green. Now I live in Kentucky. Oh, that's close by. I got my Kentucky license. So oh, I'm working on some dates for there. So maybe soon. I, I think I might know a promotion or two that will be interested in your services. Oh, okay. So <laughs> I will, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Instagram. Anybody that brings up Kentucky license, I immediately tag my friends of New South Wrestling and New uh, Generation Next Pro Wrestling. Oh, I think um, I've seen uh, both of them on social media, yeah. Yeah, so I'll definitely will be sending them your way and hopefully uh, <laughs> you will be. And um, to add also about goals in general, mm -hmm. I'm super passionate about wrestling and more so about women's wrestling. Um, so, of course, my goal in the long term is also just to make wrestling and women's wrestling even bigger and a better place for everyone. Um, that's just me privately uh, speaking um i would really like that and to create more opportunities and um i know that i'm at the like i haven't had billions of matches but i do aim to make it like the best thing that it can be for everyone with what your passion and your 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 dedication to this craft i definitely see um uh, Michelle Green doing incredible things and taking things up a notch for women's wrestling. So you mentioned you was trained by you know, Jazz and Thunder Rosa. Um, now Thunder Rosa, she's doing big things for AEW, Mission Pro Wrestling. And for exactly Mission, uh, yeah. I've been to I think two or three Mission Pro um, shows behind the scenes I was helping out as as I was training there and the shows are great I can always recommend whoever is close by to go see them um, they are looking to host a show during the Wrestlemania week I believe um, 
I'm still like making my plans. That's the thing like with resting, um, a lot of things change, but I do aim to be in the Texas area during WrestleMania week. Um, but yes, I'm, I, I'm going like week and months <laughs> at a time. So that's still, I just realized it's in like two months, less than two months. So with all that being said, who is on Michelle Green's radar as far as potential dream matches, future opponents that you would like to go toe to toe against? It could be more than one person. Just who who does the international swish sensation wants to go one on one against down the road? Oof, of course, there's so so many talented women out there. Um, I think the two big ones are Charlotte Flair and Thunder Rosa. And um, I'm also looking forward, um, hopefully soon, to wrestle Miranda Gordy. And I used to train with Jasmine Allure and Maddie Rankowski. So I would definitely like to see them in ring too. And um, yes, top of my head, I think those are the ladies that I'm looking to wrestle very soon. Danny Mo also. Um, and uh, yes, there's so many of the Mission Pro ladies that I would love to lock up with in ring. And uh, yes, I'm excited for what's to come. And you got some shows coming up this weekend. Why don't you go ahead and mention those again? Where can they catch you in uh, this weekend? Yes, um, this Saturday I'm wrestling in Summer, Tennessee. And then on uh, also tomorrow on Friday, a good friend of mine is hosting a show, Joe Kazana Promotions in the Tennessee area. And um, then next, um, let me think, next Saturday, I'm in Bristol, Tennessee for Imperial Pro. And the week after that, I will be in Morrison, Tennessee for Tennessee All Pro Wrestling. Yes. That's uh, February for me. <laughs> then I'm gonna go on a short 10 uh, day break to Switzerland and then return for more wrestling in the US. So yes. if you want to see Michelle wrestle before she takes her hiatus, all the shows that she just mentioned right there, she's gonna be at all those shows. So you got Yes, and- I will always post about them and you will see also my match promos um, about them on at I'm Michelle Green on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. So if you would like to support my journey, um, every like and follow is much appreciated. And go buy the eight tens. Go buy the yes. eight tens. <laughs> yes, That's I have eight by tens too. Those help too. Yeah, um, I actually was... Uh, I've been saving up and uh, just ordered a new ring check. So I'm excited for that to want to arrive soon and to debut it. So she's on Instagram, she's on Twitter, she's on Facebook. Look up Michelle Green. She's yes. on there. Show your support. Check out the shows in the Tennessee area and uh, go buy her 810s. Support your fellow indie pro wrestlers. They were truly appreciated. And don't wait until she gets to a bigger and then you missed out. So go check out Michelle at these shows. Um, it's a, I enjoyed chatting with you this evening. Thank you so much for your time. Great chat Thank you very much you. for having me. You have a very bright future on in professional wrestling. So um, I, I enjoy the promos too. I enjoy the video content. <laughs> you have on display very very yeah there's a lot of fire in me <laughs> <laughs> great chatting with you michelle thank you and uh continue success and safe travels back to switzerland and hopefully once you get back i'll hope to see you at a future show down the road yes um hopefully um soon my goal is to wrestle as much to become the best pro wrestler that i can be and um, at I'm Michelle Green, you can follow all the good stuff. And um, thanks so much for the invitation. This was really a blast. I definitely enjoy it. You enjoy the rest of your night, enjoy the rest of your evening. Best of luck to you and your upcoming matches. 
get win every single one of them. <laughs> oh, I, I'm gonna make it happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. You you have a good night. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you very much, Kenny. All right, that was have the a inter- great evening. That was the international Swiss sensation, Michelle Green, right here on Chilling with Kenny C. Thank you all for your time, and uh, 